In this lesson, we're going to be going over the user interface basics and how to read images into Nuke. Before we get started, I'd just like to let you know that Digital Tutors would like to say thank you to iStockphoto and the artist JJ Neff for their images that were used in this series of lessons. You can access these same images and thousands of others at www.istockphoto.com. Okay, welcome to Nuke. If this is the first Nuke video that you're watching in our library and you aren't really sure if Nuke is what you need to be using for your project, you may want to take a look at the CG101 course on compositing and watch our lesson over node-based compositing. That's going to help clear up some things for you if you uh, still have some questions about why you should use Nuke or some other application for your specific need. Um, and again, that's just our lesson over node-based compositing. You can just type that into the search and that'll come up for you. So if you are sure that you're in the right place and you're ready to learn Nuke, let's go ahead and get started. This file that I've opened up here is your 02 underscore begin dot nk file in your Nuke files folder inside of your project files. Now I'm just starting off with a completely blank slate. This is what Nuke looks like when you just very first open it up. So um, if you are wanting to create a new file, you can always go to file new if you had something else opened up, maybe that you were playing around with and you want to start new, or you can just open up our 02 underscore begin. That's also going to be a blank slate for you. Now now let's say maybe you've been playing around with it a little bit and things don't look like mine and um, that can be kind of confusing to follow along with. So if you want to change your layout to look the same as mine, you can just come up here to layout. I'm just left clicking and holding that down and you would just choose restore layout one startup default and that's going to put um, all of these into place just like mine. Okay, so um, now that we have that kind of figured out, let's go ahead and go over some of these user interface elements. And, you know, when you're first learning a brand new software, the user interface can be one of the most intimidating things because there's all of these buttons, you don't know what they do, it's like a foreign language. So I'm just going to go over these really slowly so you can get an idea of just kind of what's going on it. But one of the things that you can be relieved about, the things that I love about Nuke, is that it is very well organized. So everything really has um, a very proper place that it's in, and everything is together that makes sense for it to be together. Um, so I really think you're going to love it. So we'll look at just get started with this area here. So this is going to be our viewer. So anytime we have an image that we're looking at inside of Nuke, this is where we're going to be seeing um, what that looks like right here. Um, and if I want to change the way that I'm looking at that image, that's basically what all these buttons are for. So the way that I'm viewing the image is going to be changed by these buttons here at the top. Now, I don't want to get into what all of these are, channels, all of those things, uh, and just to bog you down. But one thing that you might want to know is just these two little buttons here on the sides, if you click those, it's going to collapse that for you. Um, it can look like maybe part of your buttons are getting cut off like they're behind this area over here but that's just the button to collapse that so we are going to be using these um, for a little while so if you want to go ahead and collapse those now you can um, the next thing I want to talk about is this area over here this is going to be your properties bin so the properties bin is going to be where anytime we add a node to change our image, it's going to have different parts of that node that we can tweak. So those different properties are able to be changed and then therefore change the way your image looks. So all of those, um, whenever you select them, are going to be just kind of stacked up in here in your properties bin. So once we get a few more nodes in here, we'll be able to see kind of what this looks like once things start coming in. But the properties bin is really Really one of the most powerful places because this is where you really you know change things and make your image look great now down here is going to be where you add those nodes in the first place. So right here in this area is where the node tree is going to grow. So as we start adding more and more nodes, you're going to start seeing this area changing. Um, and this is where um, you see those huge node trees. Um, if you've watched any other tutorials that were maybe too hard for you or something like that, that's kind of where what's going on in this area down here. 
So this is our node graph. That's what this is called. Now we have a fourth area, which is over here on the side, which is our toolbar. And this is where all those nodes I'm talking about are located. So if you just kind of hover over some of these buttons, that button is going to contain all of the nodes that are related to that little tool tip you see there. So up here at the top, this is our image button. If I click and hold that, then I'm able to see all of the image related nodes. So um, that might be a little bit confusing, you know, image related is so broad, but um, this is, you know, for bringing things in, um, having something that's just going to be a solid, something like that. Um, and we can get more into those later on. But this first node that you see here, the read node, we're definitely going to be using here in a moment. So we can talk more about that later on. But um, one of the great things about this is that if you kind of have an idea about something you want to do, let's say, you, you know, you go through this course and then you want to do something else on your own, you say, you know, maybe you'll, I want to retime something. It has this nice little clock icon for you um, and that's really just going to help you to kind of figure this out on your own so I love how intuitive this interface is so you can click and hold that um, and then kind of start to go through here and just start playing around with some of those different nodes okay so again, um, the, that's the great thing about Nuke. We've gone over these four main areas, our toolbar, our viewer, our properties bin, our node graph, and that is really all you have to worry about right at the beginning. We've just got these four main areas, um, and that's really just what you need to know at first. Um, and while Nuke is an incredibly powerful tool, there's not a whole lot you have to remember about how the interface, at least how the interface fits together. Um, Okay, so remember how I said everything is going to involve a node, you know, pretty much everything I was explaining, you heard the word node, because that's basically how this whole thing works. So even to view an image, we need to have a node, and that's going to be the that read node that I pointed out. So if we just come up here to image, click, just left click and hold, come over here to read. We're going to go ahead and choose this node now. So what it does is it's going to pop up this area here. Um, and this is just going to be where you start to read files in. So right now I'm over here in your project files. So if you drill down through those a little bit, um, what you downloaded from us, we've got our nuke files and our reference files. Now our nuke files are going to be obviously where you got the 0 to underscore begin. So if you get lost along the way and you want to um, follow along with me, kind of maybe pick up where I am, you can just choose any one of those. It's, we're going to have one for the start and the end of every single lesson. And then your reference files are going to be what you'll use for um, just the images the things that we're going to be building our scene with. So you can just double click this, or excuse me, just single click it. And then we've got these four different folders inside of here. So we've got our beauty, our ground shad, um, which is going to be our ground shadow, heat, and our street background. So um, let's go ahead and click again. And now we come inside of here and we have this sequence. Now I know it's a sequence because I've got this one through 70 at the end. So this means I have 70 frames to this sequence. And we also have sequences checked. If I uncheck that, then we're going to have all those individual files. But I do want to use this as a sequence. It's animated. So go ahead and click that to select it and hit open. And you can see now we have our first read node dropped in. So you can kind of see this little image here. It's on a black background. Um, but I I'm going to be using those other three that we saw there. Um, you saw those other three folders whenever I had that open. So I want to show you a different way that you can bring those in as well that is maybe just a little bit faster. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this here and pull this over. This is just the folder that's containing your project files. We'll go into those reference files again. And now we have all four of those folders that you saw earlier. And Nuke is so smart, it's actually going to know that if I have a sequence that has those names, that have those numbers at the end of each file, that it's going to know that it is a sequence. So I can just take the whole folder and drop it in, and it's automatically going to create a, a read node for me. And I don't even have to do it one at a time. I can simply shift select the ones that I didn't bring in yet and just drag them over here onto my node graph. 
and you can see those three little read nodes popped up. Now we have a total of four read nodes all together. So pretty cool. Now you notice that even though we have these read nodes, I can't see anything up here. And that's because we have to connect our viewer node to our read node. So the way that we do that is by grabbing this little arrow. And this arrow, Nuke calls a pipe. So all of the nodes are going to be connected with pipes. So this first pipe that we're connecting here is what's going to allow us to see our image. So let's just go ahead and bring it over here and we'll drop it onto read four. So I'm just left clicking and dropping it on there. So now you can see we have this nice little image here.